What's up guys, Jeff here, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, so I just watched a movie called The uh, Contracted. Um, it's really hard to explain this movie without spoiling it. The movie's called Contracted. I got all my notes here. It's called Contracted and you can watch it right now on Netflix. Um, now, I'm going to tell you guys about the movie. It came out in 2013, so you know what? I'm going to spoil it. If you don't like spoilers, please stop watching right now. Um, yeah. So, in this movie, came out in 2013, uh, some, there's this girl. She goes out to a party, gets drunk, and she ends up sleeping we're having sex with some guy that she doesn't know, like a one night stand. Um, which, you know, and while they're doing it, you know, she's saying, please stop. So, yeah, it's, you know, she ends up getting raped, you know. Uh, so, after that, she's trying to figure out why she's feeling so sick. Uh, she's, like, bleeding getting pale and, and when I'm talking about bleeding I'm I'm talking about when she wakes up in the morning goes to the bathroom and like does her business then you look at the toilet you, you know it's blood she wakes up and she's bleeding from you know her private parts you know it's like a lot of disgusting things happen you know her fingernails start falling off her hair her eyeballs change color so basically, when you're watching this movie, you're like, oh, you know, you really want to know what's going on, you know, and uh, when you're watching this movie, you don't know what's going on until towards, kind of towards the end, you kind of have an idea like, oh, I know what this disease is, because she thinks it's in, you know, she thinks she got an STD, but it's something way bigger, way worse than an STD, um, so... She's also a lesbian. That's right. She's a lesbian and she had a one night stand with a guy. So, yes. Um, her name is Sammy. And, uh, sorry, my phone's going off. Uh, the guy who, you know, has sexual intercourse with her, the guy who actually, you know, raped her in the movie, uh, he's, he's, um, his name is BJ. In a movie, and he's being played by Simon Barrett. I don't know any other, you know, actors and actresses from this movie, but Simon Barrett, you guys probably know who he is. He wrote Your Next, he wrote The Guest, he wrote The Blair Wish Project, and I can't wait to go watch that. And he also wrote VHS. So he's probably like the biggest, I'm not gonna say actor, probably like the biggest you know, celebrity, I would say, in this movie, because he's an awesome writer, he wrote some awesome movies. So, Simon Barrett, he's in this movie, and that's pretty cool. Um, now, throughout this movie, you know, people are trying to get her some help, and she's refusing the help, and, you know, the mom's all worried. Also, her, the um, mother is against her being a lesbian. You know, so they, like, the mother and daughter, like, they don't have a really good relationship. And, um, you know, it's funny when she says, I'm not that sick, I'm not that sick. And she's walking around with, like, red eyes. And I'm like, are you serious? You know, she goes to the doctor, you know, the, 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 all, the, uh, the acting at the doctor's office, it was just, to me, it wasn't the best, you know. Um... Towards the end of the movie, that's when she, you know, becomes, f like, a full zombie. Like, that is the disease. You know, she just becomes this friggin' zombie. And, uh, at the end of the movie, you know, you know she's trying to drive, and she crashes the, the, uh, the car. And, um, then she wakes up from the crash, and the cops are there, you know, trying to calm her down. But you can't calm down a zombie. The moms, they're like, please don't shoot her, don't shoot her. 
you know, and telling her, Sammy, come to me, come to Mama, and she runs at her, and that's it. They, you know, she screams, and I think, I think you heard a gunfire, and the movie ends right there. So, from right there, I was pissed off. I'm like, are you serious? Like, that's it? The movie's over? You know? It's like, I wanted to see more. Um, but, when the movie is over, you know, like, guys, when you're watching Netflix, when the movie is over and the credits start to show, they give you some recommendations. And they made the, the uh, contracted phase two. It's a part two. And it starts right off when Sammy was running to her mom and a cop shot her. So it shows everything. So that's awesome. But I did not like part two at all. I did not like part two at all. In part one, Sammy ends up having sex while she's sick with some guy, Riley, that he is in, like madly in love with her. Uh, but he doesn't really see her because she, you know, she's hiding. You know, but you can clearly tell that this lady is, like, not okay. So, they having some sex, and then all of a sudden, um, some, something happens. She's, uh, bleeding, and, uh, maggots start to, uh, fall out of her private pots while he's in her. <laughs> and it's disgusting, and he runs to the bathroom and, like, you know, leave me alone, and... That's when, uh, you know, part two happens because, you know, Riley is now infected, you know. So now Riley, you know, he's out there and he's trying to fight, you know, trying to figure out what's going on because um, he's now inf infected and whoever he touches or shares drinks with or kisses or have any sexual intercourse, they're all going to get infected. You know, and so lots of people got infected in part two. Um, part two wasn't the best movie, I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, the acting was poor. Um, there was a lot of, I mean, there was a lot of good parts, a lot of, you know, some gory parts that were really good, but the movie could have gone, you know, it could have been so much better. You know, it could have been so much better. Um, but yeah, part two just really, really sucked. Um, but, you know, he finally finds, uh, the guy who started it all, BJ. Uh, and I don't think Simon Barrett was in part two. Because it didn't look like him. I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, but yeah. Uh, the, the main guy who spread this... He died in part two. Okay, he's dead in in in, in part two. Riley obviously dies. And, you know he's you know Riley did work with the cops, so you know there was a cop that like, also kind of got infected. It was just crazy. You know, it's like a lot of people getting infected. There was some poor acting, and yeah, that was it. It's just. This guy running around like, what am I supposed to do? You know, like, what's going on with me? And, duh, it's obvious what's going on with you. You know what's going on with you because, you know, from part one, you know. So, it's like, these people are trying to get better. Like, they, you know, they can't get it through their head. Like, you are screwed. You're going to turn into a zombie and you're going to eat people. You know, you, you might as well shoot yourself in the head. Uh, yeah, so part two, to me, really, really sucked, guys. I did not like it. Part one was all right. I enjoyed part one. Um, I enjoyed, you know, seeing Sam, you know, getting sick and seeing what she's going through. You know, I did not like the ending. You know, but that could easily be fixed. By, you know, after watching part one, watch the first few seconds of part two. And, it, you know, it gives you a little bit more of the ending, you know. So, basically, if you go to part two and you take, like, one or two minutes from the beginning of part two and add it 
to part one, it could be a good movie. But I do enjoy it, and I do recommend you guys go on Netflix right now and watch it. Um, I know I spoiled it for you, but it's still a good watch. If you're bored, if you, ha if you have Netflix, go ahead and watch it. You know, it's a pretty cool movie. It's not that long. I would say it's about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, so you can actually watch both movies, you know, like two and a half hours. Uh, so yeah, it's just, you know, another zombie movie, you know, it's a lot better than Maggie, I don't know if you guys seen the, the uh, movie Maggie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, that movie was horrible, so definitely better than Maggie, I would say, because I hated Maggie, um, yeah, but that's a whole new different story there, but, um, uh, yeah, uh, let, let me know what you guys think, this is my first movie review that I'm doing with spoilers, um, let me know if you like me doing these movie reviews with spoilers. You know, because, you know, it's really hard to explain a movie without spoiling the movie. And, I, you know, I sometimes like to talk about the movie, you know. And I know I talk a lot, but, yeah, that's just who I am. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have watched this movie, let me know in the comments down below. Let's chat about it. Uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you around. Later. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my social media links somewhere here or over there somewhere. Thanks, guys.